My name is Simon Buckton, speaker, challenger, survivor. I was abused by my own mother. As a child, she tried to swap me. I was beaten, starved and neglected. I was taken into care where I suffered further abuse by the police, care workers and social workers. I escaped and joined the army at 17. By the time I was 18, I was on the front line in Iraq. I also went to Bosnia, Northern Ireland and Rwanda. Dead bodies, mass war crimes and watching my friends die left me struggling with flashbacks and nightmares. I drank to numb the pain of what I had seen. My mental health got worse and eventually my marriage broke down. My mental health had deteriorated to the point where I was medically discharged from the army. The shock and transition of having to leave the army with just my bag of kit, no home and no job was really tough. I went into recruitment and worked long hours to avoid facing up to the reality of my flashbacks. In 2005, my mental health deteriorated, to the point where I had to leave my job in recruitment and I was voluntary sectioned. I was diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder and it came as a relief to finally know what was wrong with me. The challenge became living with a diagnosis and knowing how to deal with the symptoms of post-traumatic stress disorder every day. In February 2011, I decided to run 100 marathons in 100 weeks to raise awareness of post-traumatic stress disorder and funds for Help for Heroes. It was a huge challenge, finding sponsorship, organising everything and dealing with the media. During the challenge in 2012, I was diagnosed with cancer. I was unwilling to let this stop me. And so against the orders of my doctor, I continued to run through my treatment. MPs and organisations have become interested in my challenge. And I've recently started to lobby government and other organisations to try and change perceptions around post-traumatic stress disorder. In June 2012, I was given the huge honour of carrying the Olympic torch in my home city of Leeds. And at the end of my relay, I proposed to my girlfriend. For the first time, I see a positive future. After overcoming so much adversity in my life, I want to use my experiences to help and inspire others.